Welcome back to 20 Minutes or Less. I'm Joe Beretta. I'm Lee Newton. Hey, Lee, you know that statistic that says you eat like seven spiders a year or something crazy like that? Gross, Joe. Well, turns out you probably eat more insect delicacies than you ever thought possible. Joe, don't do this to me, okay? I like food. I need food. Do not ruin food for me. Okay, I bet you like Starbucks, though, don't you, Lee? I love Starbucks. Don't ruin coffee for me, Joe, okay? I need my coffee. Just so people won't turn into stone when they look at me in the morning. Okay, don't worry. Your, your coffee is safe. Oh, thank you, sweet coffee Jesus. But I bet you love your strawberries. Stra and cream frappuccino. Yes, I love them. They're a staple, won't. Wait a minute, what's in my strawberry and cream frappuccino? Don't worry, Lee, it's not a big deal. I mean, with every serving, you're still gonna get your massive amounts of sugar and dreams and stuff. But what you didn't know is that you also get two to three teaspoons of these guys. Joe! These little dudes are called cochineals. They got these oval-shaped soft bodies and they're native to Central and South America. They tend to cluster on cacti and bore into the plants with their tiny little beak-like mouths so they can suck on the cactus juice. So you're telling me they put three teaspoons of these bugs every time I get a strawberry frap? Don't be ridiculous, Lee, that'd be disgusting. What people do is that they gather a bunch of these bugs and then they crush them and then they harvest their juices, and then they put their juices in your frappuccino. It's really quite interesting. The juice is actually carminic acid, which in nature is used to deter predators, but in the food industry, it's used to make a vibrant red food dye. It's said that it takes up to 70,000 of the bugs to make one pound of dye, and what they do, essentially, is they take all the females of the species, and then they dry them out, crush them, and then they strain them. You don't want little cochineal lady legs all up in your frappuccino. Now, in the case of Starbucks, the extract is inside the strawberry puree, and it creates that signature bright pink hue. And to top it off, Starbucks, like other companies that are trying to get rid of artificial ingredients, and such like to use it because it's considered all natural. Oh, we've had some great times, strawberry frappuccino, but I'm over it. Okay, it's time to focus on the story. A Starbucks spokesperson said about the creepy ingredient, we have the goal to minimize artificial ingredients in our products. While the strawberry base isn't a vegan product, it helps us move away from artificial dyes. Oh yeah, I didn't think about this. Vegans and vegetarians are gonna be pissed. Everyone's gonna be pissed. No one wants to eat bugs. Ignorance is blissly. It sure is. But I'm about to bring you even deeper into the painful world of knowledge and information. Carmine or carminic acid is also known as natural red four or E120 and it's used in all sorts of stuff. It's just people like you and me, we were blind to it. No. No, no. Oh, no, no. yeah, it's in so much stuff. It, pretty much anything that has a strawberry flavor. It's in yogurts, juices, sausages. What? Sausages? Is nothing sacred? Nope, it's also in lipstick and blush. Bugs are on my face? You're ruining my life! At least I have my ceremonial Aztec blanket that's been passed down from generations that I could snuggle with. Joe? I'm so sorry, Lee. No! So what about you guys? Now that you have all this information in your heads, is it gonna change what you eat? Or are you still gonna order that strawberry frap? Let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. Click the annotation down below. Go to sourcefed.com for our five daily stories and everything else we've ever done. I'm Lee Newton. I'm Joe Beretta. Guys, what are you talking about?